Wow, you can hardly believe the crud I am getting here today. The hostility. And um, this woman here is trying to paint me as being unreasonable or crazy or whatever. And I am a little tired, but I went to bed correctly last night and I got up early this morning and I got here on time. I couldn't even get into the building as usual. Um, who knows where that woman was uh, to let me in. They should really give me a badge here, but you know, I know that's expecting and hoping for too much. So, uh, the first client didn't show up. Um, and meanwhile, I ended up having um, kind of a well, she was trying to make it into a fight, and I think that what we have to do when this happens is to keep our voices very low and stay very calm, and not to smile falsely, but, you know, to be very, very neutral um, when people have obviously been called on their incompetence, if you will, and... Uh, they're trying to create stuff, pull stuff out of the air. I'm going to have a cigarette here. It's one of my last. And, um, you know, just change procedures on you and tell you do this or do that. And if you say, well, if you say, well, I don't trust you, uh, basically that's what you're saying is I don't trust you. And they get their back up which is what just happened to me with her a while ago and it was um... I've known this woman for quite a few years, young woman and you know she was trying to destabilize me by throwing things out saying that certain clients don't want to work with me anymore and boy when I was first new here in France that sort of thing used to really disturb me because I used to take it in an American way. You know, here, if there is a problem with your work, and this is a million dollars worth of advice I'm about to give you, it's really upon the employer or the client to inform you very quickly, which they can do verbally. They can do that verbally or by email that there's a problem, but then you have to quietly get back to them and say, I'm really sorry about this. You have to put this in writing, even if it's only a couple of lines, and send it to me registered mail. I have 15 days to receive that, and then once I receive it, I have 15 days to respond to you in writing by registered mail. You know, you gotta, you, you, you gotta give what you gotta give. You know, if you're asking them to do it correctly by registered mail in writing, you have to respond correctly in writing, in re in registered mail. And if if they wait too long here in France, you know, if they wait like more than I would say by the end of the month, really, um, they really don't have a leg to stand on. So they will try to do all of these discouraging things to you. Um, they will try to throw you off <clears throat> and put a lot of cold French attitude at you. And what, what I suggest that you do is remain very, very, very calm yourself. And even as I, as I often do, uh, just retreat and say, excuse me, um, I need to go freshen up for a minute or something. I'll be right back. And go and get some air and don't let them get your back up. Um, I did a video a little bit earlier about how cranky I've been this month and that is one of the worst things you can have going against you because although it is difficult to document it won't do you any good. It absolutely won't do you any good. It, it at least lets them know that they've gotten to you. You know, you have to stay really calm and say, well, if there's a problem, you have to notify me about this correctly or 
maybe I don't understand the procedures, in which case I ask for your help or somebody uh, here in a... Et pas de badge, moi-même. Depuis sept ans. Oui. Comme employé ici. Oui, ça, c'est une autre histoire. Bonne chance. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm just telling these people I can't let them in because I don't, I don't have a badge for this building, which is ridiculous. You know, I'm out here smoking a cigarette and I won't be able to get back in easily. Or else I'll have to ask somebody to breach security and let me in without knowing me and I have no proper company ID here I used to and I've asked them again and again for it and I've given them my ID photo which is expensive again and again and I never get it so you know what the hey but you know they'll they'll throw every kind of psychological stuff they can at you and I could I could really run my life a lot better than I do. But what I try to do is keep myself clean and fed every day and try to lead a clean and disciplined life because I really need it to do battle here. And I'm sorry to call my life a battle, but it really seems that way a lot. You know, a, a while ago, pretty recently, my spouse almost yelled at me. His voice wasn't that high, but for him that was yelling. <clears throat> and he basically called me a good for nothing who will never be able to survive without him and that I'm a total burden on him and then a few months later I gave him a bunch of money and um, I said honey what do you want me to do with it because you know that might sound crazy to you but I'm married in France without a marriage contract and whatever I earn um, I have to turn over to him whatever he earns he has to turn over to me it's shared and if I screw up even one penny of it, I am liable for divorce without alimony. And if any of my business deals, unfortunately, go wrong, um, he can divorce me. Now, I, having my EURL set up recently will help me a lot because I've made it very clear legally that he is not involved in any of the decisions I make with that business. But I would like you all to know if you come over here to live and you get married over here, get a marriage contract. And if you're not married here, get Paxe or something so that you will have your civil rights, okay? Um, because otherwise, as a woman, I must say, you're, you're probably going to just be chattel the way I am. And I know this sounds bitter, but actually, I'm not all that upset. I'm sitting out here in the cold without a coat, smoking a cigarette, which is probably not the smartest thing in the world. But I love fresh air, and I, I love cold air. feels really good. My hair is still a little bit wet from wetting it this morning, and I'm, I'm letting it air dry here. It's all clipped back. I hope I look okay. I couldn't find my mascara this morning, so I just have foundation and powder on. <laughs> I must be quite a sight. But then again, I usually am. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm, I'm dressed correctly for what I have to do today and stuff. And I'm waiting for the next client, who's totally bogus. But I hope she shows up because I enjoy her. She's not a bad person. Um, she, she actually admitted to me recently, and I told these people, that her whole um, connection with doing business with these people is just so that she can get out of the office half a day a week and fob her work off on her co-workers. And I was pretty horrified, but I just kind of laughed at her, and I thanked her for her honesty, and I noted it correctly, and I hope diplomatically, in the dossier, and I verbally informed the assistant here. So, and, and I also spoke to a coordinator here about her, and she's no problem for us, so it's really not a problem, you know, but... <laughs> You know, what do you do when you find out you have a business contact who says, Oh, I don't really give a crap about any of this. I I just like to shirk at my job, you know. And uh, I don't really care what happens with any of this. Well, you know, at least she's honest. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's all we can be is honest, right, people?